Hello, over the next few minutes we will discuss a few Q&A about goats being an alternative method of noxious weed control that is environmentally friendly. Here are some commonly asked questions. 1. Why use goats to manage weeds? Absolutely wonderful question. Goats are browsers, compared to cattle and sheep who are grazers. Goats prefer to eat plants that are at eye level and above, grazers prefer the natural grasses down low. By allowing the goats to browse the brush and undergrowth of invasive species, weeds, dead brush and leaves, the natural grasses can recover. Great. Now I heard that goats will eat just about anything, but what's their favorite food? They love weeds, like the nap weeds and yellow star thistle. Goats eat all poisonous plants, which does not seem to bother them. They also have great diet specificity by age and gender. The older male's preference for what they eat first differs from the baby goats, the nannies, and yearlings. If available, the older males prefer Russian thistle and Russian olive and elm trees, while the baby's first choice is field vine weeds. Goats are hired to eat the following weeds. Canada thistle. Cheap grass. Common tansy. Common mullen. Dalmatian toad flax. Dandelions. Downy brome. Indian tobacco. Napweed. Kudzu. Larkspur. Leafy spurge. Loco weed. Musk thistle. Oxide daisy. Plumeless thistle. Poison hemlock. Purple loosestrife. Scotch thistle. Spotted napweed. Sweet clover. Yellow star thistle. And yucca. Okay, very informative. Let me ask this. Do goats eat grass? Yes, but it is their last choice and they won't eat it if there are weeds around. Goats control brush and weeds without disturbing the existing grass and soil, which make pastures in which cows graze more beneficial. The goats can be rotated in to eliminate most of the undesirable vegetation, and then the cows can come in to graze the grass without having to pick through as many weeds. Once the goats eat the weeds, can they go to seed? No, and here's why. The first thing goats do when they walk through the pasture is snap off all the flower heads. Then they pick the leaves off one at a time, very quickly, leaving a bare stalk. Once the goats graze the weed, it cannot go to seed because it has no flower so it cannot photosynthesize to build a root system because it doesn't have any leaves. It is well documented in research that if you cut the stems off of most weeds with a sharp blade the plant will quickly respond by making just as many seeds if not more, actually making the plant denser. But because of the way a goat eats, the plant is stopped. It cannot make any seeds or photosynthesize. What's the problem with pesticides? A lot of things happen when you spray pesticides. For one, the weeds can mutate and become deformed. I have seen this happen to common mullen. In a study completed at a university, they researched plots in Wyoming where there are dead trees as a result of tordin being sprayed over 10 years ago. The research revealed that the spraying also made a pure monoculture of Russian snapweed across the valley. The plot was then sprayed with a chemical to kill the Russian napweed and reseeded with grasses. Every time a chemical was used to kill the Russian napweed, white top, another noxious weed, began to grow there. For some noxious weeds, chemical sprays are ineffective. One example is oxide daisy, which has no leaf surface for the chemical to be absorbed. But, goats love it. Okay, here is my final question. Do goats eat Christmas trees? Yes, they love them. A great way for communities to recycle Christmas trees is to have people pay a nominal fee to have goats recycle them. Any money generated could then be used for weed control in that community the following summer. The goats love Christmas trees, they clean it up, strip all the bark off. The remaining tree trunk could be sold to a youth group, to be cut, packaged and sold as firewood. So the recycling keeps going on and on.